Oh man, first and foremost, we're a few days behind it. We gotta talk about it. Grand Theft Auto 6. They have uh officially dropped their first trailer uh as of you know as of uh the day before, honestly, because they were getting they were getting leaked heavy. I ain't gonna lie, they had to hurry up because shit was looking bleak for them. But the first trailer is out. We've got, uh, you know, a brand new look at, you know, the the main characters, which is going to be a two, uh, you know, two main characters. Uh, I believe it's Lucy and I don't remember the other guy's name, but it's OK. Uh, we're going back, you know, what I'm saying to Vice City. We're in the state of Leonida. Uh, again, the, the kind of take on Florida, as it seems in Miami and all that, because you felt the Florida man vibes all across this trailer. There was a bunch of new looks at, again, the city, the people, the factions and gangs, the different locations you can get into vehicles and all that stuff it looked some of this looked and some of this may have been an engine i don't know again the look of it looked really different a, a lot of it if not all of it looked an engine or, or something you know what i'm saying there was no cgi cutscene in, in in my opinion uh it's it's it looks insane it looks insane man it it, it is very interesting to finally see it out and hear when give me your thoughts so i i think first and foremost we need to address the elephant in the room Mm. There was a lot of ass <laughs> in that trailer. There was an ex- there was a there was a, a level of ass unseen, like any trailer we've seen. In in uh, I've been watching game trailers all my life, and I ain't never seen that much ass in a trailer. So that, already break breaking records. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, the the amount of cheekage, the the uh the volume of cheekage, the jig- of the it, jiggle the jiggle watch was going insane. I'm about to they, say they went crazy in the studio i know that mocap day was a very busy day for folks i'll tell you that uh, i but in all seriousness looks really cool first female protagonist gonna be very interesting take on gta uh we still got a white guy you know we, we can't get rid of those too many we need we need one of those <laughs> no matter what i'm sure he's like half cuban or something they'll, they'll hit us with one of those bad boys but definitely really interested to in seeing to playing gta as a woman uh, it's going to be an interesting take on the franchise and just seeing how the world around you re- like reflects that because you had Trevor, uh, Franklin, and Michael in the last game, which, you know, mm-hmm. different p- people from different backgrounds, uh, but all still dudes, still very much dudes. So I think it's going to be a very interesting take on the, the franchise. The world looks, and again, we don't know because we haven't touched it. We haven't played it. All we've seen is a trailer of it. It looks like it's going to be massive, though. It does not look like a smaller world whatsoever. All the different diverse biomes, like we had the glades, we had like just driving around on that long ass highway or whatever mm-hmm. it is. I don't know. I've never been to Florida. Um, we have Miami Beach or South Beach or one of the beaches. Again, never been to Florida. Mm. And there's just so much the nightlife, the hoods, like the, you could see the influences from the different communities that already live there. Facts, yeah, I could, like, I could tell Broward's in there, man. Shout out to Broward yeah. County. I could tell y'all motherfuckers was in there. <laughs> like it looked, it looked crazy. It looks like it has something for everybody. Truly, like it just seems like a really, really interesting game. Those, those boys at Rockstar have really outdid themselves. But of course, it's Rockstar. What we were expecting, we weren't expecting them for them to really drop the ball. They don't. They rarely ever do. Um, the biggest ball they've ever dropped was like L.A. Noir, and that game yeah, is still seen as an amazing facts. game. And that's a whole like, that's a whole different kettle of fish. Also, again, yeah, like compared the comparing that to like a, any of EA's games, like like their <laughs> yeah. catalog, it's crazy. They Filthy. do really good work, but I think it's going to be an amazing experience. I cannot wait for the game. Um, to all the leakers and the people who just are like straight up not taking this seriously, or like like the 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 dude whose dad is just straight up showing them Bro, like, on the desk stuff yeah. for TikTok. Like I cannot, I I've never wished for somebody to lose their job. I've seen people straight up not do their jobs at their jobs and be like, I hope they can get a, a, as many paychecks as possible before they get fired. Mm-hmm. And the people who are doing this with GTA, yeah, no, I don't know. It's just kind of bananas when you think about it because this is like, yo, this is when GTA drops. It's not just any normal company, right? Nope. You're not working for any normal company. You're essentially working for what is seen as like to the, the Fortnite, dynasty. Yeah, like before Fortnite, I think Fortnite in a couple of years will overtake GTA as like the company we look to yeah. for video game advancements. Yeah, but as of right now, it's still Rockstar. Rockstar is still the the Stone Cold Steve Austin yeah. of this shit. You know, I, I agree. Post the poster boy of just like the next level. Like every time a Rockstar game drops, no matter what game you play, no matter what game you play, 
you know, like I'm seeing people who played only League of Legends reacting to Grand Theft mm-hmm. Auto. Like that, that's how you know this is this is a franchise. That's facts. So when I see people just posting or leaking or stuff like that, it's just kind of ass because this could be a moment we all enjoy together. Like this could be a moment where we're all like, bro, like I remember when GTA 5's trailer dropped and I mm-hmm. was over here texting cousins, people I never even met before. Like I, I didn't even talked to in years. Yeah. They'll see me post about it and they're like, whoa, whoa, bro, have you seen it? I'm thinking this, that, and the third. Like, this is such a cool moment. And instead, we got leakers dropping it on Twitter like hours beforehand. So then like I have to rush to my computer to find out what's going on. And then I get there and like I'm like, it's just not fun when you when you have leakers. And I know people are like, what's the problem? Leaking is fun. It's like spoilers are really w- when it's a problem. And it's like, no, leaks are spoils. Yeah, they uh, because but there's they give an information. Exactly. Like you're telling me things that we um, we weren't meant to see in ways that we weren't meant to see it. Like if I tell you about the fact that um freaking Doctor Strange comes back in the next Iron Man, he's like, Well, that's that's a spoiler. It's like, mm-hmm. no, it's it's a leak. Cause you were supposed to find out when you watched the movie. Instead, you found out via Twitter. Facts. It's the same thing. I was supposed to wa- find out what happens in GTA on in the morning at 9 a.m but instead i had to find out over twitter from people like just straight throwing all this stuff up Mm -hmm. that's still a spoiler it's still a leak it's still corny there's an entire team of people dedicated to showing us these things like they literally sit there and they get the final product of the trailer and they're like yo or they'll they'll get the they'll get the game and they'll see what's able to be put out and they're like yo let's do this on this day let's release it this way like there's reason there's people there's entire teams of people that are behind it and it takes one dude with and the ability to hack to just post it on Twitter and get, I guess, a couple likes, man. I just don't get mm. it. It's kind of just, it's just a little sad because you're kind of thinking real short term. You're using your mm. skills for real short term gain. When in reality, the dude who was 18 who who hacked the thing, he's in jail. Yeah, like he went to jail, and then he, now he's he's gonna get out of jail. And he said, as soon as I get out of jail, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna to go again. And I'm like, it's like I, bro, you're gonna be 18 when that happens, though. Like you're yeah. gonna go, you're gonna go to you're gonna go to a real jail. You're going, or you're gonna put your pa- your family into like financial risk. You're gonna be putting you're gonna be putting people in really tough situations because you want people random dudes on the internet to be able to like I don't know mm. be mad at you or whatever. Like I don't I don't know I yeah. I don't know what what the purpose of this is. Bro, people just want to be people just want to be one assholes and two people just want to know things. You know what I'm saying? It's just like just this this random this this random urge in the age of information to know everything. It's not only that we're exposed to everything. There's people that want to know everything, especially in areas of interest. And it's just like it's just an annoying it's just an annoying thing we have to deal with in this in this day and age. Like we can't keep surprises. It's instant. It's it's a it's a form of instant gratification in one way or another because people want to know things as soon as they happen. As soon as you know they get a wind of it, they want they want to anticipate because they want to know. They want to be right or they want to they want to be able to you know d- determine if they make a decision or, or not based on that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I feel I feel like it's more so people wanting to be right, wanting to be right yeah. and wanting to be in the know before anybody else. That 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 scarcity of being first. You know what I mean? That that yeah. that that drive to be first really fuels a lot of bullshit in in uh, in everything. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just just even gaming this is you know what i'm saying it goes into sports it goes into you know what i'm saying journalism across every type of discipline and every type of out, out, output you know what i'm saying it's, it's crazy but i don't even want to harp on that just speak on the positive gta bro this shit's gonna be generational uh, you can already tell yeah. that you can already that's that's an easy bet you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying your parlay is gonna be pretty safe if you do that i, I don't think you're getting much return for that because everybody's voting that way but just to see just a look at looking at the the intricacies man the the player models just the 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 different places that we're seeing the different ways that that you're going to be able to travel everything down to the damn animal life we saw some flamingos in there and stuff chilling they look real as hell like uh, this game just looks ridiculously like good man again there's there there was a video i saw circulating where it's like somebody was on gta and they actually ran they, they ran somebody over and the old lady was like the old lady in the couch watching the video was like mad shocked like she was like oh terrified yeah, like, yo yeah. you ran him over what the hell and i'm like dog if you think that misinformation is gonna be crazy way too people like get a hold of this game bro there's gonna be some dude driving in a, in a truck off the like uh, something that looks like a sunoco in gta 6 and they're gonna think it's real life they're gonna think it's a real news story you know what i mean like it's yep. It's it's insane, and GTA Six is is attempting to do one of the uh, most wildest things I've ever seen: capture the spirit of Florida and the Florida man, and that may that may be the greatest feat gaming has ever seen because that is an elusive, uh, very dangerous thing to somehow document and put into some gaming format. Just just insane, insane man. Yeah. I might go lie. 
Shout I, out to the, the Rockstar attention to detail too, because there was like that post that showed all the like the all the Florida references, all the, all the wild yeah. shit and Florida references that happened. I think most of those were actually Florida references. I'm yeah, pretty, were, if not all of them, like yeah. every single one was very spot on, except for the like the story contained ones. They just like yeah. they when they go when they do something they do it, and it's just sad to see like all that hard work again. And it's really really hard for me yeah. to like it's all right. not focus on the on the. I don't know. Negatives, but it's like all this hard work that people are like compiling like years of Florida memes and Florida stories on like Instagram, putting it into a game, and then just seeing people just like ruin it, man. I don't know. I, I can't wait to see this to see this game because it's gonna be amazing. And mm -hmm. I don't I can't see myself not playing this for hours and hours and hours on end. And I don't even like playing too many games that are like I don't want to say mainstream, but when I stream, I try yeah. not to a game that everybody's playing it's impossible not yeah, to play yeah you can't game. you can't dodge this man you can't dodge this again there are only two games in this life i've begged to skip school for two games i literally made sure all my grades and shit when i was younger was like solid it was you know what i'm saying good so i couldn't be disputed i was like yo give me this one day y'all give me this one fucking day just let me have it one modern warfare 3 in 2011 i remember that day you know i'm saying i was trying to fake like i was sick and all that bullshit i played all day the other one gta 5 only two games I've ever skipped, you know, a day in school for, you know what I'm saying? I, and I had to beg and plead my case. So, you know, shit was real when they touched down, bro. When Rockstar touches down, it's it's a different feeling, bro. It's a different feeling, bro. I, I, I knew it was going to come out in 2025. You know, who knows when it's going to come out in 2025. I feel like I feel like somewhere I want to say September would probably be a safe bet just to make sure they can bug fix everything, and get stuff done. I hope not. I, I just want them to have at least a good base ready day one. I want them to have a base down day one. If they're going to have this RP GTA online stuff set up, make sure it's set up. It has a good base from day one. You know what I mean? If, if the single player stuff is good, set, set up from day one. I just want them to have enough time and assurance to make sure this is good. I'm I'm willing to wait on this because we waited long enough already. You know what I mean? It's already been a, a decade plus since we've had the, you know what I'm saying, the last thing. So it's it's fair. It is what it is. I just want them to drop this right. That's what I want. I don't want to wait a year for GTA Online if you promised it on day one. I don't want that. So make sure you put your ducks in a row. Um, hopefully tighten up your security for the gameplay reveal, which is most likely coming out sometime next year. I would assume E3 next year would be, you know, or E3 season, because E3 is dead, my bad. But somewhere around that time frame for, for, for uh, what's it called? GTA to get some type of update and, and what we've seen. So tighten up your security by then. And we patiently waiting, man. The world is going to be waiting on this one for sure it's 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 almost guaranteed to be a banger i just hope everything comes out in the development cycle and they get the chance to really showcase it on their terms uh on route to that release day yeah i hope they release that bad boy in october uh and the reason i say this is because i want to be able to play space marines too in September. <laughs> and, like, I, really want, I want i want them to drop if they could drop it in like an august like i know it's not but if they could drop it on like an august i would love it just like, just so i could have time to play the game outside of any other release because it's going to definitely eclipse everything else mm. i i also remember the days of like when gta 5 dropped i didn't take off of school but i made sure like i told all my teachers like yo i'm not gonna be able to turn this in on wednesday or whatever because i remember my cousin went on tuesday to get the release i was yeah. in school <laughs> literally just waiting i was playing i had my phone on me and i was playing the gta companion app mm. like just trying to like yeah. the level up or whatever just trying to do whatever i was like i need to play this game but no it is definitely gonna be something huge i i don't even know like i'll probably end up stream i don't even know if i'm gonna like stream it i might just end up just playing this in my discord like it's just so good but yeah no definitely definitely a big fan can't wait for them to can't wait to see it mm -hmm. nah, I hear and it. i also hope that the day that we do the, the gameplay releases i hope y'all get them leakers before then man. bro facts and stop, and stop blocking the trailer so we can get some views damn it gosh yeah, like I, I really hope that the person who gets in, like, I hope that dude whose kid was showing the thing off, I don't care if it was legally allowed to show or whatever, I hope y'all fire his ass. Hey. And I don't even, like, I genuinely don't care. Because, like, yeah, I don't, I know some people be like, I don't know, that's a little, that's a little extreme. Nah, homie is very nah. unprofessional. I hope, showing shit I, hope, like this. I hope his, I hope his mama or his sister has an OnlyFans that's only mildly successful, but only successful <laughs> enough for the people in his school to recognize her, all right? <laughs> And I hope he deals with that pain. You know what I'm saying? I hope you deal with that, brother. Uh, but <laughs> outside of that, yeah, we can we can leave that there. GTA 6, man, we can't wait. We can't wait.